Hi, so today I wanted to do um, an overview of NARS Cosmetics. Now, um, as I mentioned previously, I was into NARS and then I was out of NARS. I, I, I gave most of the stuff away. I don't know why. I, I think, I don't know, I just found it really glittery and and uh, and I think honestly it was probably my mistake because some of the things that I was drawn to were really sort of overt colors because they look so beautiful in the pot or in the packaging and it's not something that I readily wear and so it would just sort of sit and sit and once it starts sitting for a little while I then kind of go yeah no it's time for you to go so um, I think it was I think it was a bit of me and it was a bit of them because I think the formulations have totally changed in the last, I don't know how many years, but it definitely wasn't like the stuff that I had purchased previously. Mind you, I didn't go into a huge, um, you know, NARS fest or anything like that. But the first product that I got that kind of led me back into the line was a palette, and it was um, the Essential Palette. Yeah, the Essential Eye Palette. And it looks like that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you know what it was? Really, honestly, it was... Whoops. This one. Galapagos. Which I'm sure as um, tons of NARS fans out there know exactly what I'm talking about. That just was so gorgeous. And, and um, velvety and... As dark as it went, because it's so pigmented, it just blended out so beautifully. In fact, probably blended out better than almost any other eyeshadow that I've come across. So, they must have done something. I don't know, because it was not like that before, I'll tell you. What I wasn't that much of a fan of, even though I like the color, was their cream products. Um, I just found the consistency to be more greasy. More greasy than creamy. Maybe that's just me, but I, um, because I've tried other cream-based products, and I, I'm a huge fan of cream-based products, whether they be eyeshadows or foundations or blushes, um, I just, I found the consistency a little bit waxy. Waxy, that's what it is. Not greasy, sort of waxy. Um, I will swatch that. I mean, honestly, I just kind of went like that. It's really cuckoo. I mean, gosh. Um, my favorite colors out of these two are the Galapagos and Ondine. Ondine and Galapagos. Um, the other ones are all beautiful too. And this one, this sort of creamy shimmer, that would be beautiful just as the center, just to add um, a little bit of light there. So that was the first one. Then, of course, as soon as I got that, um, you know, then I just had to go gangbusters, really. And then I went on a, on a, a crazy... NARS Fest. So after that, I got, because um, I'd been looking at it for quite a while, but I thought, you know, it's brown, it's brown, it's dark, it's, I've got so much of that. Um, I'm wearing it right now, actually, this thing, and it's Cordura. Um, and for most of you, I'm sure these products have been around for a really long time and everyone has done a review on them and it's kind of old hat. But for me, because I've just sort of discovered it again, I, I'm, I'm kind of in that like, wow, fest. Um, like, wowsy. How gorgeous. And you know... What I had before, I think it was Bellissima that I had. I loved the sort of flat, taupey gray, but that silver thing was just like a glitter fest. Glitter fest. I mean, just yeesh. I don't know how anyone would want to wear that because, you know, as soon as you put it, I mean, just the fallout was crazy. And, you know, as soon as glitter hits your face, you really can't get it all off unless you wash your face completely at the end of the night you're still going to get those particles somehow because even as you're trying to pick them off because you're catching it in certain lights you're not seeing certain ones so um but that i mean that is just why am i showing you a closed that is um wow probably one of my favorite eyeshadow combos ever 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 and they blend in together so beautifully you know i was kind of worrying 
quite a bit in that because I always put my makeup in natural light but on camera it really doesn't show but this is really really gorgeous um and then I went into neutrals doesn't look like much yeah it's called um, portobello so very you know mushroomy basics but you know I don't know this color especially it just reminded me of of like Hagen dazs coffee ice cream <laughs> in an eyeshadow or something because it was just so creamer, creamy and, and buttery and um, the texture of it is so smooth and it, it really, um, even though they look very, very similar, I, I found them to be, you, you could tell sort of the difference. One has a little bit of a um, kind of a taupey undertone, the other one has a little bit more of a yellowy type of undertone. Or one has more pink. Or... Anyways, they're, they're a little bit different from each other, but they're a great neutral just because they're so creamy when they go on. And because of the blendability, when you're putting something on top of it, you even if it's not a NARS product, you get the benefit because you've laid this down first. And anything that goes on top of that is really going to just glide and, um, and blend out beautifully. So if you're wearing, you know, perhaps try it with something that you found... Um, hard to blend and then put this underneath maybe and then see if that works. Um, I haven't actually gone um, that route because I haven't found anything that's really 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 hard to blend yet but I'm just thinking off the top of my head that would be a good thing. So there's that and then I got Bruce. Bruce and it's a um, in the purple family but what I love about this is um, Mm, yummy. Um, what I love about it is that even though it's in the purple family, and I d definitely love purples, but I like a certain type. I can't go for the real electric colors. Or maybe, I mean, I just don't know how to apply them properly or something. It really um, just, it's a bit too in, in my face, in your face, someone's face. Um, and what I loved about them is that they're sort of grounded in an, an earthy undertone, either it being like a purpley brown or a purpley gray or a purpley taupe or something and so I find it to be really really wearable. All of these you can build and build and build to you know all kingdom come. I mean you could just make that like a super 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 dark dark eye um, and that's sort of what I love about it. You can go from A to Z within these colors. Um, so that was the three eyeshadows, well the four with the palette and then I was so impressed by that, I, I, and I always heard that the blushes were amazing, 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 and the, you know, the whole orgasm thing that was going around, um, like I said, when I first ventured into it, I got the orgasm, and uh, the orgasm, a orgasm, whatever, I got it, and um, I thought it sucked, really, I mean, it just was not for me, I don't know what the hell they were talking about, I returned it, and um, Consequently, I've heard a lot of other people say that they weren't too crazy about the orgasm, and yet it's touted to be the, you know, wonder blush of all time that suits everybody. And, um, you know, perhaps statistically it does. I just found it to be really eh. And um, so I didn't really get it. But the other blushes, um, I really, really love. Now, what was the first one that I went into? Gina. Gina is one of those colors that I bought um, a while ago and kept because um, now it looks really, really orange, but it definitely goes on much peachier. Um, I guess maybe it's kind of like MAC Peaches. I was debating on getting MAC Peaches because, of course, it's got peach in the title and I will buy it, but I think it was too similar to this, although the pigmentation of this is cuckoo crazy. Um, crap, Amanda. Okay, I have to do a part two. Okay, thanks so much for watching.